technology. Oh, there it is. Okay, good. I'm there. Come in. I told Salvador he was dangerous, but no. Why listen to Langston? Just a panopticon supervisor. There's someone named Philip up in a cell. He's watching the refrigerator and very rapidly losing it. Philip? Oh shit, I forgot about fridge duty. He's been uh, for over a day, I totally forgot. You forgot about him? There's a lot going on. The hiss, the Benikoff TV. Considering the number of things I'm juggling, ma'am, I think it's... Listen, it's fine. We just need to get him out of there. He said you'd be able to open the cell door? Yeah, I can unlock it on my terminal. There's gonna be a problem. There's always there. a problem. Done. Door. Open. But Philip can't just leave. The fridge is behaving erratically. Ocular contact is the only thing that seems to placate it. If we don't hmm. have someone in there watching it 24-7, people will die. I'll figure something out. I'm pretty good with these things. Being pretty good with altered items isn't standard bureau procedure, ma'am. He doesn't know us very well. Nope. All right, well, let's go back to I'll it. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here. Like Help that always. poor bastard out. I'm gonna quick travel up there. Oh, that was nice and quick. Okay. Go back this way. I'm coming, Philip. I'm gonna help you, buddy. Hello. Jesse! I'm back. I'm coming in. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. This poor guy's probably all fucked up. Jesse? The friend is doing something! Philip? Philip? <gasps> Well, if I look away, it hurts me. Ow! This fucking fridge. I can't get out, and I can't look away. Open it. Maybe I can cleanse it. Fridge is talking. It sounds like the board, but I can't understand it. Fuck. Oh, Jesus, Fridge. Oh, that was fucking horrible. I must subdue this fridge. I've never had a fridge turn on me. Then the fridge was a giant worm in the long run. Ugh. Fuck that fridge, man. And everything it stands for. Alright. So... Fridge duty can suck a dick. What do you know about this Arish guy? I heard some rangers saying he saved them in maintenance. They were attacked by a new kind of hiss. Holy shit! Alright, but still. A security guard leading rangers? I don't know if I like to Hmm. Look at this bullshit. This person was like infatuated with sticky notes. Oh, something caused it. Okay. Okay. So one sticky note. Okay, I see. I, I get it now. That sucks. Wonder what's causing all this duplication mm -hmm. shit. Let's see, let's talk. Oh, okay. It wants me to talk to her. How are you doing, Jesse? It can't be easy seeing Dylan like this. I'm fine. What can you tell me? Is he still... human? Or is he his? I've taken numerous tissue samples and have tests running as we speak, but from the initial data, he looks healthy. I only see corruption in a superficial way. What does that mean? 
I don't know. This is all new. But if he's like you, maybe Polaris is preventing total his takeover. It means he's lost his or fucking maybe gourd. this is just a new form of his. We've already seen how it affects people in different ways. Dylan told me he let the hiss in. Does that change anything? Voluntary conversion. I mean, hypothetically, that could affect the mental state post-corruption, as well as the extent of biological alteration. Yes. But again, this is new territory for me. I I'll need time. You won't have it. I'm gonna shut down the slide projector. That's how the hiss are getting in. Once I close it, this should all be over. Jesse, we don't know how this works. If you sever their connection to the source, it could cause a terminal chain reaction. Every his corrupted individual dead. They're gonna be dead anyway. Better that than what Dylan is now. I'm shutting it down. This has to end. Whatever happens, happens. Hmm. Okay, just let me know how I can help. Thank you, Emily. See, so can't you talk to me? Does she have more stuff to say? Hi, Jesse. Working with Darling. I've been seeing these Darling presentations all over. Seems like he enjoys the limelight. So you noticed, huh? When he recruited me out of college, he actually came to visit. He interrupted my physics course by shouting, uh, not quite, professor, and then marching down to the front of the class where he proceeded to berate the very idea of laws of thermodynamics. Hey, he's been a showboat all his life. Darling visited you in college? Yeah, he read a paper I'd published, came to recruit me for the bureau. I accepted and then spent years waiting for access to the confidential research that Darling promised me. And whenever I ask about my access level, he just mumbles that it's temporarily postponed and then changes the subject to the effect of entropy on luck. I wonder who else Darling hid his work from. Marshall? Trench? Hmm. Studying Dylan. Have you learned anything about Dylan's condition? Only that he's definitely his, but I guess his chanting made that pretty obvious. You know, interestingly, the words of the his incantation have an average length of four letters. The mm. most common word used seven times is want. The next most common are through and time. That's very interesting, don't you think? I don't care about the words. What about my brother? Right. Sorry, I got a little off track. Yes. Well, strangely, his tissue samples all look healthy, unlike the other his I've tested. That's good news. Right? Jesse. I wanted to talk to you about the crazy things I can do. My abilities. I get the sense that they're not very... usual around here. Well, usual and unusual aren't really benchmarks at the Bureau, but for some perspective, Director Northmore once used the floppy disk to send a bowling ball six yards through the air, and that was considered a huge deal. So compared to that, you are most certainly an outlier. An outlier. I like the sound of that. Hmm. All right, I guess I'm done talking with her. I should get going. Don't let me hold you up. So, hmm. Float. Wait. I see it. Can I get to it? Do I want to get to it? No. I do not. I have too much shit as it is.
So this is security. Oh, Jesus. We're here again. No! No! Leave me alone! I changed my mind! Shoot me, bitch. You might, but I'm not gonna make it easy. Damn, I wonder if I'm for the wrong weapon. Chanting continues. I gotta go to prime candidates if I remember correctly. Got my level six. Oh look, okay. back to what I wanted. Prime candidate program, there we go, this is going to be interesting. To find new prime candidates, the Bureau needs a director. Our future, P6 and P7. Hmm. We're gonna find... Can't go that way. We're gonna find the truth. The truth in all the lies. hurt you. Yeah, shooting your one weakness, your penis.
Into him. Yep, I had a feeling I heard more. I can do it! Echo or something like that. Nothing new here. They're talking though. These guys, these little possessed fucks, are saying all sorts of stuff. Uh, what? Everything is so warped over here. Okay, we're not going over here just yet. I want to stay kind of normal. We will go check that area out soon. For now, we will we will continue with normalcy. Is this what Dylan wanted me to see? It doesn't matter. We need to find that projector. Wow, they were. Were they watching me? I'm gonna have to read this stuff. Nothing. This would be something to read. Jesse Fade Movement Tracking. <sighs> Depart Cheyenne arrives in Sydney. Depart Sydney arrives in Des Moines. Des Moines arrives in Chicago. Chicago. South Bend. South Bend, Cleveland, Cleveland, Bloomsburg. Bloomsburg to New York City. Interesting. We used to play there all the time. Me and Dylan. And other kids as well. We loved it. This time, I remember what is different mm -hmm. we found a way in deeper into it like it had shifted we went inside and that's where we found the slide projector a dump mm -hmm. is a place for lost things things that have been thrown away did you ever feel that way when you were growing up, Jesse? What? No. Yes, but that has nothing to do with... Was there a slide projector at your home when you were small? No. <laughs> Those were before your time, I suppose. But your family did look at photos together, maybe. In one form or the other? Maybe. Hmm. <laughs> when was this? Can you remember? At parties? Barbecues? How did it make you feel? Did your parents ever show pictures that embarrassed you? Was alcohol ever involved at these parties? The fuck? Did your parents drink? Did that make you uncomfortable? No. That's just stupid. Come on. That has nothing to do with this. Nothing. This light projector, let me ask you this. As a child, did you ever fantasize about worlds inside pictures? Oh no. Inside a painting? You know, stepping into a painting, into a hidden world, escaping and finding adventure there, away from your parents. I don't... I... I don't think so. I don't remember. Maybe. That was interesting. We're learning a little more about this character. What if this is all just a fucking like she's nuts she's just crazy she's in a mental institution and this is all on her head wouldn't that be stupid okay all the times i felt paranoid 
I was right. The Bureau could have given me the answers, but they just stood by and watched me. <laughs> I'm not allowed to go outside anymore. <laughs> 